Just a reminder, suction doesn't clean, it's a pressure. That being said, here is low suction. Here's the middle position. And here's hard floor. This NV750W has three positions as far as brush roll on and off, full suction, medium leakage, and maximum leakage, I suppose, in addition to filters in and out. So we have a bunch of tests to perform. So let's get started with all filters in. And I have all of my liftaways for you to see right here. All right, here we go. I'm going to start out at what they call thick carpet area rug, and then I move it up to carpet low pile, and then maximum suction with the brush roll off, they call hard floor. So I moved it to the middle position. See the airflow went up a bit. Brush roll is still spinning. Right now this is hard floor, maximum suction, maximum airflow. No brush roll. Now let's go repeat the test, but I'm going to take all the filters out, so there's three of them. I'll put these a little more out of the way, let's see where they are. Everything's out. I think you can see that everything's out. Let's reset. All right, same test, same order. middle position.
Now I'm on hard floor. So there's definitely a difference with the filters out, but of course, don't run your machine with the filters out. Now we need to check suction. And some people already know what the results are gonna be, and some people might be surprised because this machine was made right around the time frame when Dyson and Shark were having their suction at the nozzle wars. All filters in, starting from lowest, going up to highest. That's pretty incredible, isn't it? Now it's time to do emissions testing on the exhaust filter. This filter might be a number of years old. It might be the original filter. I can't tell, so we're gonna measure it anyway. Yep, pretty much we're dead on H11 or possibly even a little bit better, headed toward H13. So that filter has a lot of life left in it. 